What's up everyone? I've got something really good for you today. I am doing a hardcore Nuzlocke of Pokemon Crystal Clear. Now, if you aren't familiar, Crystal Clear is a ROM hack of Pokemon Crystal, which allows the player to face the 16 gyms from Kanto and Johto in any order they want. By the end of the game, I'll be battling high-level legendary Pokemon with terrifying movesets. So, tell me, do you think it's even possible? Now, you'll notice here that we have enabled shiny clauses because, well, me want shiny, but I'm electing to not use the more gimmicky shiny as an extra life option. Additionally, duplicate Pokemon are not going to be treated as failed encounters. This will allow me to hunt for many more diverse and useful team choices throughout all stages of the game. <clears throat> no XP limits, but I do scale enemy stat XP to my badges, and also because this is a hardcore Nuzlocke, I will not be using items in battle. However, held items are allowed, uh, and uh, the battle mode is locked onto set, uh, meaning I will not get a free switch out on any knockouts. I also personally don't enjoy the rule of ending the run on a whiteout. I'd much rather use some of my remaining Pokemon to try to overcome that challenge under a little bit more duress than before, or at least attempt to do so. Hopefully you don't mind the rules too much, but feel free to let me know in the comments if you think I'm totally not hardcore enough. I would at least appreciate your feedback. You might have noticed I chose a first location of Pallet Town, made player character stylized around green, and uh, here I have chosen Eevee as my starter. Uh, having misread the IVs to think I had a maxed out speed IV, I actually wind up naming this Eevee Zippy, uh, and then ventured out into the world. Uh, however, when I checked Zippy's stats, I noticed immediately that something was wrong. Uh, and on the IVs page can see that my EV actually has nearly minimum speed uh, and is actually extremely bulky. Uh, whoops. I guess this nickname is an ironic one then. So I wander around in the grass nearby and catch our first new teammate, a Sentret named Scout. Following that, I catch a Rattata to the west of Viridian City and name it Le Champ. Shortly thereafter, I absolutely thrash Youngster Cole's Rattata with my Eevee before confidently strolling into the grass nearby. To my horror, I was met with a level 10 Butterfree. Uh, I tried to fight it, but it promptly confused my poor Eevee, leaving her at just 1 HP. I frantically switch, choosing to sacrifice Lechomp in hopes of trying to run with Scout. Uh, I send in Scout and try to run, uh, but there's no luck. Butterfree knocks out Scout 2. Finally, the Butterfree allows me to leave. Uh, down two members already, but at least with my starter still intact. So in response, I immediately train up to level 7 before heading into Viridian Forest, uh, looking for a Metapod or a Kakuna. Uh, what I got instead was yet another Butterfree. Um, even at only one level lower, Zippy is barely damaging this thing. So after a couple confusions drop her to half, I swing out with a final flail, uh, hoping to knock the Butterfree into a potentially catchable range. A third confusion here drops me to seven, powering up my flail even more, but it also confuses me, meaning this could be the end right here. Uh, flail does hit through though, and it takes Butterfree almost all the way down to the red. So this is it, all or nothing. I throw a Pokeball and nothing. Not even one shake. Butterfree lashes out with a fourth confusion, um, but Zippy lives and we get another chance here. Fighting and running both aren't options here, so I throw another ball and hope we get one shake, two shakes, three shakes, but no, it was not meant to be. And a wild Butterfree ends my first run right there in Viridian Forest. Well, it can only go up from here, right? <laughs> 